Look at our giant stack of mortals, all for the sake of research. Welcome back to Autonauts. So thus far, I have automated a lot of robot production. You can see that all of the different Mark I upgrade stuff has been completely automated there. However, what I need to do now is really crank up my research. So I need to automate the food that I'm feeding all of these mortals down here. That way I can get the research I need to build my empire. Luckily, I've got a secret weapon. Jen here is going to go ahead and do one very, very important job for me. You're gonna come on over here, you're gonna grab a spade. Boom, just like that. And then what I want you to do is come down here, and then you're gonna dig up this turf tile. Just like that. Boom. Pretty simple, right? All right, Jen, go ahead and do that right there. So what I'm going to do after this is I'm just going to dig a little hole. So hang on, we gotta flip this over here. We gotta move the turf, go back to our spade. And then if we dig up this little hole right there, that allows us to plant stuff inside of it. Now thus far, we've only planted trees, but if we run on over here and we grab some of these berries, we can plant those berries in the ground, just like this. Which means we can grow bush farms down here and harvest lots and lots of berries, which we can then cook and feed to all of our little mortals over here. And as you can see, I'm already stacking <laughs> the soil tiles uh, because I've already reprogrammed all of these robots here to expand the area where we are digging uh, and planting up trees. Okay, I need to start marking out my territories here. That is going to be right there. And that <clears throat> is going to be right there because I'm going to want to retain some area for like roads and whatnot. So things can kind of move the product from where it needs to go from one spot to another. Pretty soon here, I'll be able to unlock fences and stuff so we can actually organize things a little bit better that way. But for right now, that's the area. All right, so it's time to construct a new building. We have a crude mixing pot. So let's go ahead and build that little guy right over here. And there we have it, a crude mixing pot. Ooh, all right. Ooh, look at these ingredients. We have grain, fresh water, some mushrooms and weeds. It seems like there's a lot of weeds. Do we have to plant a bunch of weed? What I want Gen 2 to do is to come down here and dig up the holes in this area. Okay, this is great. So we're flipping a bunch of soil. We're stacking the soil. Look at how big <laughs> this soil stack is. It's huge. All right, so I have heard that there is a limit to just how much stuff we can actually physically stack or have on the ground at any point. So I might want to build some more crates here in order to store stuff. Because otherwise I might end up losing some of it, which would not be cool. All right, so I've got some bots automatically supplying this and I'll just kind of start to store some of that stuff right there. That will be good. Okay, so there's a couple things I haven't tried yet. I haven't done the hoe, the scythe, or the scooter. So what does that take? A crude blade, I got one of those. By the way, thanks to everybody that's been subscribing here recently. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'm really enjoying the game, so hope you guys are looking forward to more content. There we go. Okay, now I need a stick. All right, let's see what happens when I use this scythe. Can I use it on, oh, wait, if you hit press alt, you can actually see what you can do here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, I could chop down the flowers. Probably cut the grass here too. Let's go ahead and give that a swing. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, so there's a hoe. What if I go ahead and poke the soil with that? Mm-hmm. Oh! All right, so now it's tilled soil. Okay, what can I do with that? Currently can't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah, let's chop down some flowers then. Oh, I could plant some flowers there if I wanted to. Okay, so now I need another robot. We're going to go ahead and give this robot scanning and shoes because it will need to move quite quickly. What I want you to do is find berries and then plant them in the holes. And that is going to be in the exact same area right there. Boom. Have at it. So now let's see what happens if I just put a berry down right there. Okay, found the berry, excellent. Found a hole, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So if we give a bush a good thrashing like this, there we go, they'll automatically be planted. So we can just keep making more and more berries. So that means I need to build some more workbenches because I think a crude flail is exactly what I want here. Boop, boop, boop. And we're just going to make that right here, right next to everything I need to do. All right, we got bots sleeping on the job. Come on out here. 
I need more charge bots. Maximum area. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need some more robots to beat around the bush. So I'm going to go ahead and make a nice one here. I've got the increased power capacity. That's good. And since I'm working in a larger area, the scan is what I'm going to use as well. Devin, you are going to be my bot for that. There's your power, there's your scanner. And you know what, for right now, you're going to go over here and you're going to pick up a stick. And you're, that's what you're going to use. But we'll get you a flail here, don't worry. We'll set that to the maximum area. Have at it, bud. Devin, no! Can you pick up multiple sticks and use them? Devin, are you using multiple sticks right now? Yes, you're using three sticks. Wow, okay. Does that work? That works! Only one is going down. Oh, well that's pretty handy. Ooh, there we go. Official planning, farming fruit. Excellent. Awesome. Whole new set of plans complete and certificates to earn. Oh man, look at all this stuff now. Whoa, look at all of the farming. Soil, cereal, crop, cereal, grain thrashed. Okay, we got a lot of stuff we can do. <laughs> We're still just trying to flip dirt. <laughs> Excuse me, Warden. Just doing a little work here. All right, so Bubbles is out here working as fast as she can. So I think I'm going to need to create a second Bubbles. That way she can keep up with the amount of digging holes that she'll need to do up there. Because right, it, it's just a much bigger area. All right, there we are. We're back to growing trees. Fantastic. How's our research coming along? 760, not too bad. We sure do have a lot of bushes down here. Okay, so for my next bot here, Lindsay is going to pick up the berries and deliver them to the mortals. So I gave this bot extended capacity. So you can see we have five things that you can grab right there. Pretty good. So I want you to come down here, find berries, and you can go ahead and deliver it to the mortals that are a little bit more advanced. Until hands are full, until hands are empty, and just keep repeating that. Oh, you know what? I think there's something else. That needs to happen here. If they're not hungry, maybe that's why I'm not feeding them. Add to hut. No, no, okay. Hang on. Maybe I just do this. <laughs> what I want to see here is the robot feed this colonist over and over again. There you go. One, two, three. Why? Why doesn't that work? Because I can do it, right? Yeah. Easy. Okay, well, let's get rid of this then. Okay, what if I get rid of these commands and just leave it with add to the hut. Why won't they do that? Okay, reduce the area to just one. No. <laughs> hmm, Lindsay, I'm not sure why I cannot get you to feed multiple times to the same, same dude. Feed, move back, looking. No, you can't find <laughs> Okay, if I get rid of the area, you seem to be heading back. Move to hut. Okay, move back, find. <laughs> you can't find the... Hmm. So I asked around on my Discord channel if anybody else was having this issue, and it turns out other people are having the same sort of problem. The robots only want to feed the mortals every single time that the uh, their status bar hits the absolute minimum, so once they're very, very hungry. So the answer to my problem here is to cook higher tier food. Okay, so I have some good news. We have tons and tons of bushes here, but the bad news is I can't harvest them quick enough, so I need more Devon bots here to actually beat up on the bushes and and knock the berries loose. So come here, warden. <laughs> I need a few bots from you. <laughs> One of the nice things you can do with these bots once you kind of stack them up, is you can kind of throw them down just like this, and then you right click on them, get some more, throw another one down. So it's really easy to kind of just get like four bots. Okay, so before I do that, let's go ahead and convert those sticks into flails. And this is a relatively easy recipe in that it only takes sticks. So I should be able to kind of do this all with just one bot. Maybe even one basic bot. Let's see if I can do it with one basic bot, huh? Lyra, what I want you to do is pick up a couple of sticks over here. We'll just have you pick up two sticks, just like that. Add them to the workbench. Pick up the flail. Put it in the box. Ah! Too much. All right, we'll do this with a more advanced bot then. Let's go over here, pick up the sticks. All right, let's see if Lyra does this. One, two. Ow! Thought you would pick up two, but you didn't. Mm. Adjusting code. Okay, this is just gonna be times two. This is also just going to be times two. 
The rest of that is forever. There you go. Yes. Aha! Excellent. Okay. That means you, Devons. You're gonna pick up one of these, you're going to go down here, and you're going to just beat on the bushes. Okay, so now, just to train up a lot more of these. Hmm, I'm digging up a couple of mushrooms here. Not sure what to do with those at the moment. But, I think they're an ingredient for something, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this area is so big. Look at it. And look at how much stuff we have going on up here. No, Bubbles! You've run out of power. All right, so midway through here, we're doing pretty good. We have lots and lots of bushes that have been planted, and we're harvesting quite a few of those. So lots and lots of berries. I think I'm going to go ahead and just retire all of these kind of wild berry farming bots, whatever they are. <laughs> uh, the ones that are over here, right, these guys, and these three right here. We're just going to go put those off to the side for right now. Maybe, maybe I'll go investigate what's going on over there. Those look like weeds, which seem to be something that I actually need for a lot of my recipes. Which is going to be really handy if I'm ever actually going to get a ton of production out of these mortals. So I can do a little bit of cleanup here. I got some bots that are just kind of standing around, not doing anything. A little bit of reorganizing. Okay, Max, we're just going to move you over here. Lindsay, your job is to feed the colonists berries. But I'm pretty sure you're holding a stick. Are you trying to say something, Lindsay? Hmm? Okay, give me the stick. Now I'll get back to work. Try it with berries. Please don't maul the mortals. They tend to complain. All right, which stack is taller, the rocks? Oh yes, the rocks are still taller than the soil tiles. <laughs> I'm trying to put them into the boxes over there, but they, they're building up faster than I can get rid of them. Meanwhile, the warden's just running around with a bunch of robots still. I did take a few from them. A few. Bubbles, are you ever going to finish digging up all of these tiles? I mean, I thought it was a big area, but I didn't think it was that big. Who else is not doing anything around here besides all of these bots? Actually, that's it. Really? Okay, no, never mind. We have some out here. I knew there was more. Ah, Marie. Yes, you're the one running around and picking up the berries. It's actually not a bad job, though. The thing is, you need to be retrained. Oh boy, how many bush? Who else do we got? Marie's, the whole team. Stop, come to me. Ah! <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> okay, there we go. That whole team is pretty much done. What we can do is we can actually pick that whole stack up and bring all the robots over here. And then if I wanted to, I could just kind of retrain them. We do have a lot of weeds, some cereal. Ooh, that might be useful. It's not a very big spot, so, you know, these basic bots might actually be pretty good for this. Stop there, think about it for a little bit, we'll come back to you. Okay, Catalina, you need to just supply logs to anything in this area, just because it seems to, or at least any of these huts, they seem to actually break down, so let's just go ahead and take care of that. We're just gonna move all these bots out of here. I don't really need these basic bots anymore. Yeah. Okay, so don't mind the giant stacks of robots just moving across the map. <laughs> I just love that you can pick them all up this way. Oh, it's great. I figured these things can still be useful in this area right here. I mean, there's not... This is kind of a small spot, so... We don't benefit from the same upgrades that we have over here, where the area is like the big upgrade. So for most part here, I think I've reduced this down to just the bots I need. Maybe, maybe I don't need this bot, I don't know. There's a couple that are standing around. They're just the charge bots. But for the most part, I think I've gotten rid of all the ones that aren't doing anything. It's like I have, I have 156 bots, so. <laughs> Build up our pillar of mortals. So far, they've been the most productive things that I've had. The ones that are in these little huts aren't really working all that well for me. For whatever reason, I can't feed them very quickly, so. Uh, that's kind of where it's slowing down. I tell you what, you really have to keep your teams straight or this gets out of hand really, really fast. Okay, Jen, you actually don't have a job anymore. Your job was to dig up everything on the ground, but it's no longer your job, so... Delete everything you know, find another job for you. Camille's job is to find nearest berries, move to berries, pick up berries, and to put the berries in the hole. 
which actually is not needed because we're not digging up the berries at all. Now, one thing I could do here is I could go back and actually dig up all these holes like in a, a straight row, or I could even just do every single tile right there if I really wanted to click a whole bunch. Um, but that's gonna take a little bit too much time, so I'm not going to do that. However, Camille, I would say that her job is, is still a good one to have around, just in case I ever dig up the, those bushes. So I'll leave her down there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so if I were to really plan out teams, like we'd have two that are just kind of digging in a large area. I might have one that's actually running spades to that area. Like if I wanted to kind of farm up something down here, I think that would do it. Just three bots that kind of do that same sort of thing. And then maybe you re design those bots so that they actually pick up the turf and, and we'll run it back instead of just kind of like holding all of it. I don't know what to do with all of this turf. That's kind of a good idea. It's kind of a mystery. All right, well, I definitely got a little carried away making plenty of bushes. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crude mixing pot. Wait, I've already made a crude mixing pot. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> weeds, I need weeds. All right. Actually, what I need is a couple more bots to feed the stack of mortals over here. So I've summoned the warden with all of his different bots here and we'll kind of deliver some for me to use that's pretty cool actually <laughs> i could just have one bot that constantly has a bunch of bots nice and i just hit stop right hey give me some there you go i put some down what do we want i think i want three bots there you go and then just hand it back to him and send him on his way <laughs> oh that's great all right super Lindsay. What I want you to do is come on over here. You need to pick that up until you are full. And then you're going to deliver to the stack of mortals until your hands are empty. And just repeat that forever. Yeah, see this works pretty good when you kind of stack them all on top of each other like that. There you go. Way better than dealing with the ones in the huts. Ugh. And I could just keep adding more and more of them to, to that stack. I suppose it's not the most efficient use of our food, but you know what? At least it'll move my research on along while I'm still setting up the rest of it. All right, so let's try something a little bit different. This time I'm going to have a backpack, just like that. And I'm also going to have the expanded hands uh, agreement. And I think if I control left click on them, I can deliver that into their inventory. Maybe it's control right click. Yes, that's how you upgrade them. Okay, excellent, control right click. All right, so check this out. You're gonna move to the crate, and you're going to keep taking them until your hands are full, right? And then you're going to move this stuff to your backpack. That way you can hold up to seven if I make this a loop just like that, until hands are full, okay? Then you're going to come over here, and you're going to deliver to the colonist in that area until your hands are empty. And then you're gonna retrieve twice from your backpack. And you're going to do that until your hands are empty and then just do this forever. What a code. <laughs> Good luck, Super Lindsay. Let's do a follow cam on this one. Okay, so you're taking a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that's where things are wrong. I want you to skip past that, just like so. Here we go. Well, currently there's no berries. All right, so that's extra fancy, but you know what? It isn't necessary at the moment because I can't load that fast enough so this right here will take what you can get and then it will continue to deliver until your hands are full right so i need another bot to run stuff from here back over there let's see if i can do it with this bot using your backpack until hands are full then you're going to put this into your stow things into your backpack until hands are full then you're going to move to the crate and you're going to add that until empty until mm -hmm. hands are empty and repeat all of that let's see how this works come on super Lindsay, you can do it you're gonna head down here and you're gonna pick up a bunch of berries oh hang on area max area oh you don't have enhanced search well that's okay i just want to see if the backpack thing is gonna work oh you don't have the backpack hold up there you go now you're a true super Lindsay. Finding more, finding more. Yes, and you put some in your backpack. Awesome! So if I were to trade, yes, you have two in the back. Just like that. 
Now you're going to store, 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 retrieve, retrieve, store, store, retrieve, retrieve, store, store, retrieve. Until the hands are empty, your hands are empty. Whoa! All right! How about that code? Woo! Things are getting a little fancy here. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see. Stacks of mortal tears. See, our research is moving along much faster now. Uh, we gotta really ramp it up even more though, but for now that's pretty good. Let's head on over here and see what we can do to these weeds. How do we handle the weeds? Probably need a hoe. Hoe? Nope. Scythe? How about a crude blade? Hmm? Or a spade? <laughs> okay, the spade will dig it up, but I feel like digging it up isn't the right way to go. But, because don't I want to actually harvest weeds? There you go. Otherwise I could run out of weeds. Maybe I always get two. Well, it looks like I always get two. Let's make our first recipe here. Spiced berries. Ooh. All right, what do you think about this? Oh, you like that, huh? Okay, so here's my strategy. I'm going to make blades right down here, store them in that location, and what I'm going to do is just kind of trim down these weeds, replant the weeds, and then bring these weeds over here for the recipe. So I'm just going to set this to berries because obviously I already have lots and lots of berries. And then that will kind of just be a one-way thing. Whoa! We got some new research. Ooh, there we go. A gear, a crank, how about an axle and a crude wheel, and a wood shaping bench. That was the very expensive research thing that we just did. <laughs> 2,500 for that one. Let's try to step it down to something a little bit easier. How about construction technology? What does it take? Log? Oh, these are big tens right there. Look at that. That allows you to throw them in there quite a bit faster, doesn't it? Ah. I might need more research machines just to kind of feed them. All right, so there we have it. Three different robots. One of them is just digging up weeds. The other is replanting the weeds to make sure that we don't run out. <laughs> and then this third one here, Grim number three, is actually just running the weeds all the way over here so that I can turn that into spiced berries. All right, desktop coder, I've got a job for you. What I want you to do is find berries out here. And you're going to keep doing that until your hands are full. Area though is, is this, this area down here. Don't ask me why all these bots have stopped. We're gonna whip them into shape in just a second. Now you're going to take all of those and you're going to add that to the mixing pot. And that's going to be until your hands are empty. Now, because you can hold four things, that'll be perfect. Wait, who stopped making flails? It's an easy job. Oh, because we're looking for sticks. Who's my stick hunting bot? I know there's one around here. Ren, it's you. What are you doing? You're slacking off here. You've been factory reset, Ren. That's another way of saying you've been fired. All right, new Ren. You have a very simple job. Stick them out here, find a stick, and then put it right in that spot. So for you, can search a much larger area now. And you're faster, so that's good too. You're going to do that until your hands are full. Mm-hmm. And that until your hands are empty. Okay, where was I? Desktop coder, but all right. We need some more berries, don't we? Okay, so then once you've done that, we're going to pick this berry up and put it in the box. And just repeat that for eternity. Two, three, four. Aha! Awesome, look at that. Boom, then you pick it up. Boom, perfect. Okay, Lindsay, 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 Lindsay. You don't need that acorn. Here we go. You are going to take these spiced berries and you're going to feed it to these guys over there. Over and over again, just keep doing that. Let's see if they like that a little bit more, hmm? Oh yeah, look at that, 10. Joshua, we're gonna find a 10X woof, and then you're going to bring it over here and put it inside the research machine. Just keep doing that. Oh yeah. Okay, so now that I have that, I can go ahead and put some, upgrade some other guys as well. So just like that, there we go. Did we not have somebody making the crude flail? Warden, come back over here. Need another bot. Okay, but Fatim, your job is to grab sticks and make flails. Okay, stop real quick. I want you to pick that up, put it inside of there. 
Take all of that and add that to your loop. Boom. So I think that means all of this is automated. This stuff over here should be automated pretty soon. Once I get another couple of charge bots over here. Oops, I think I messed up your loop for bottom real quick. There you go. Till hands are full, till hands are empty, hands are full, hands are empty, and repeat it all. Okay, perfect. <laughs> that way, since it, uh, he actually goes out there and actually makes multiple of the flails, we can actually deliver multiple like that. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I can just do this number here where we go to pick them up and deliver them. Uh, I can do like twice. One, two, and then pick it up, pick it up. Deliver it. Oh, fancy stuff. Now look at these bots. They're just beating the crap out of these bushes. Everywhere. Perfect. And what that means for me is more research. There's something about seeing these little bots just like run all the way over here and then drive back. They have such a long run. You kind of just cheer for him the whole time. Although he's about to run out of juice, aren't you? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Need more charge bots. I think one day, once I get some really big area scans, I'll go back and I'll just like build a bunch of robots and just tile up the power everywhere. So that way, pretty much any robot out there, if it ever runs out of juice, it'll just be recharged. For right now, I'm kind of just adding the basic bots wherever I need them, kind of along paths and whatnot. Okay, so we can see the research is running along there. Let's go ahead and try to build one of these wardrobes just to kind of see what we have inside of there. There he goes, just a little basic bot. Ooh, interesting. All right. Look a little different. <laughs> I like it. How about that for high fashion? Ooh, I'll blend in with a fish. You won't even be able to see me. All right, so just looking at what's going on here, I think my research isn't really running quite as fast as it could. So I'm going to try to crank it up a little bit by adding a second station. All right, let's see if we get two research stations running on the same thing, if we can make that go faster. That one currently is at 886. It keeps going up pretty quick, but there's a fair amount of stuff laying around that actually isn't being supplied. So we're just gonna bring this stack of robots over here and we're just gonna make them pick up all sorts of stuff over here and just shove it in the research machine as fast as possible. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, there you go. One more. <laughs> and deliver it. No, come on. Come on, you can do it. No, it's going as fast as it can. I guess that's it. <laughs> come on, research, go faster. Hey, at least we doubled it. <laughs> this is an absolute robot free-for-all, but at least I'm getting a lot of research out of it. Meep, can you wear an outfit? No, you're out of range. Aha, you can! Hey, look at that. What do you think about that, Meep? Excited, super excited. Looks pretty official right there. Oh, the madness. <laughs> Look at all these bots. Oh. All right, so my bots are running really, really good, and they're automating all of this research for me, which is really working out quite well. I've already completed quite a bit of research. If we take a closer look here at the amount of level two research I've done, I've completed the fire. I've also completed the construction technology, which requires some other pieces as well. So a couple of things that I'd like to get done here is like the wood flooring, fence, and all of that stuff. I'm just about done with the bot heads. So it won't be long before I'm actually done with all of this tier two technology. So I think where I'm at now is to just work on some cosmetics. Oh, we need a fixing peg, which I can't build. Crap, can I build a stone wall? I can. There we go. We can start to organize things a little bit. Broom! More research. Oh, this one's gonna be good too. Look at that. Good bot, locomotion upgrade. Mmm. Extra energy, extra backpack, extra power, extra sensors, more brain. Oh, ooh, 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 the storage data. Oh, we gotta try that out. Rest of the stuff, move on, move along. We've unlocked a new level of research. We can go up to three now. Ooh, things are starting to open up. Okay. Forget the fence. All right, what does it take to make one of these research things, huh? Because right now I have uh, advanced movement, but what is the next one up? Oh, I'd have to upgrade the workbench. Ah, okay. All right, so if we just take a look at the basic bot workbench, this stuff over here, 
I cannot upgrade it just yet because I don't have panels or square frames. So I need to do some more research before that can happen. Over here though, the good workbench too, I can do crude data storage. Let's go ahead and try one of those. Two planks, two poles, and two tree seeds. All right, crude data storage. What do we do with that? Hmm? Let's see if I can give this to you real quick. No, no. Put it in your backpack. Prob it's probably something that has to do with the Mark II head. All right, so I'm just hitting one research wall after another, so let's just try to organize things, then let my research build up. But until then, let's go ahead and try to do some fun stuff with the walls. Ah. All right, so there we go. I get a nice big stone fence all the way around the bush farm. Let's go ahead and get some bots over here to build that for us. All right, you guys' job is very, very simple. You're going to come over here, find rocks, pick them up. Okay, just like this until your hands are full. You are then going to supply it to any of these blueprints you find down here. Area, max area, you should be able to build quite a bit. There you go. To do that until your hands are empty, then just keep doing all of this. Give that a try, Mr. Stone. Runs over there, picks up a bunch of stones. Give it another try, bud. Ooh, more research. We got the panel, square frame now. Ooh, and the peg which means that we can actually upgrade the basic bot workbench. Of course, we need panels in a square frame. Where, where do I make that stuff? That's probably going to be a structural workbench. All right. Well, actually, I think it might have to do with the chopping block here in order to get the pegs. Oh, okay. So that's a another version down from the pole. Interesting. Well, let me change that to pegs. See if I can build a structural workbench, a couple of pegs. And boom, just like that, structural workbench. Flooring required to operate? Ah, oh man. Which means I need a wood shaping workbench, which takes blades and a crank and some planks. Well, all right. Where do I, how do I, how do I build square frames? Wood, flooring, and fencing. All right, so we need some planks then. Let's go grab some planks, throw it in the research. We have tons of research stacking up, look at all that. Ooh, more research, crude gate, nice. A Little bit of a fence and flooring, finally. Oh, we got another award, nice. So science, basic laboratory too. Would you look at this nice berry farm with its fancy fence? And look at this stack of mortals and all of that research. I think I made some good progress today. And we're slowly eating away at the giant stack of rocks here. I'm going to need to build a lot more fence, but we got a little robot on that. So one day, maybe eventually that won't be infinitely tall. I think my next step here is going to be kind of to reorganize the construction area here right in the middle because it's starting to get a little bit crowded and it's kind of hard for me to keep track of what's going on here. So uh, I'll try to spread things out a little bit. So we have, you know, an area where we're doing berries, where I have an area where we're doing all the, the logging and farming. And then we'll kind of try to do assembly lines and stuff. I don't know, maybe over here or something. And definitely set up bots to automatically build all the facilities as I kind of construct all of this stuff. <laughs> but it seems like the more research I do, the more research I need to do in order to unlock the stuff that is even needed to build the buildings. So I'll continue to do that research and we'll kind of push forward into the next tier in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode here of Autonauts. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar!